It is time to do this a second time. Let's do this, men. So, let me reset my splits. And, uh, oh yeah, I have to delete our save data. Got this dirty save data, men. Who needs that save? We can just beat the game again. Easy peasy. <laughs> Make Super 2 again? Yeah, one day for sure. Alright, options, fast, off, set. And new game, let's go! You know, Legend says if you compare to some of best, you can see how big your gold was. Got you. Yeah, I'm sure it wasn't that big a time. Just don't know exactly. By the way, Vinks, this is a plush? Yo, let me see that. Yo, that is adorable. <laughs> that is the cutest little Nidoran I think I've ever seen. Look how sick that looks. Such quality, much wow. I was going for cute and sweet and adorable, but, you know, sick and cool. How amazing is that Nidoran plushie, dude? Oh, yeah. It's so cool. <laughs> I, I could go for that if you want, but I, I thought it was just cute. Um, not until it's time to get good again. Yo, I am the captain of good. I invented good. Like, I went back in time and literally... I was the first person in the world to use the word good. That's where it comes from. It comes from me. Yo, you gotta go 10 minutes? Yo, if you come back, I'll be fighting Brock. Or I'll be, like, just about there. Hopefully, unless anything goes, like, terribly, terribly wrong. Yes, I would like a Squirtle. A name to Squirtle? Yeah, his name's I, dude. And you know, Vex says, Lamau, I do agree, it's also adorable. Your first impression was that it was cool, though? Yeah, that's fair. You know, Naughton says, get the Nidoran plush, you owe it to Nidoran for all the runs it has done for you. Yo. I don't need a Nidoran plush, I got Squirtle over here. And there's Piplup in the back, but Piplup doesn't get up to too much. And that Squirtle might be in a trash can, but don't mind that. Don't mind the fact that the Squirtle's in a trash can. It has nothing to do with all the bad RNG Squirtles I used to have when I did the Blastoise routing for uh, the old speedrun for Pokemon Red. And yo, Inera says, you used the word good, but you couldn't apply it. <laughs> what? What do you mean? Of course I apply the word good. Every day of my life, man. I'm Captain Good. That's me. You know, Vex says, I bought one. It's costing me a cool, uh, adorable $30 on eBay. <laughs> you know, I, $30 is nice. Am I going to lose to this Bulbasaur? I might lose to this Bulbasaur. Nope, 1 HP. Didn't miss the tackle, I'll take it. Ugh, 253 on faint. That's a worse fight than the last one, dude. That is definitely pretty bad. Let's see, how much slower am I? I am slower by... 10 seconds, almost 11. That was 10 seconds slower than the last run. <laughs> it is what it is. Sometimes you don't get any crits. Sometimes uh, the enemy Bulbasaur likes to use Growl. It is what it is. <laughs> nice quote there, Naughton. I mean, that is me, Captain Good. You know, Super Sen Slayer saying, and, uh, brings back good memories of Trash Squirtles. You still remember my reactions? Oh, man. Cause, like, you wouldn't really know you had a bad Squirtle, right? You'd be like, this is probably, possibly a bad Squirtle. And then you would get to Brock, you would use Bubble on Geodude, it would do like a third of his HP, and you're like, yep, <laughs> this Squirtle is trash. <laughs> but, uh, it is what it is. <laughs> I do run sometimes. Yo, is that a quote with me referencing, like, a speed run? Or is that me referencing, like, 
jogging. <laughs> Ew. Exercise is, uh, is sweaty. Yeah, no, it's, it's good for you and all that. It's definitely good for you. Maybe I should do that again. It's been, uh, it's been too long. <laughs> Not exactly perfect movement. I went up and then down. Or down and then up. Eh, whatever. It'll be alright. I lost out on like two tiles. That's like what, like three seconds? <laughs> oh, run away like a baby? Ah, uh, okay, so that's in reference to running away like a baby in games like Xenoblade Chronicles 2, okay. Yo, lucky saying bye. See you tomorrow, hopefully. Yo, later, man. Thanks for coming by. Hopefully you had some fun while you were here. Not enough Nopon in the world. Yo, rip. One day. Oh my goodness, how long is this discussion with Gramps? Finally. He's had to talk to his grandpa for four years. And yeah, worth noting, I never lie. Ever. Never, ever. I've never lied once in my life. Not even when I was lying. <laughs> quote 73, random quote? What is that supposed to be? Yeah, I, I don't know what I was doing all the way over there to the left. Let me get uh, seven of your finest Pokeballs, please. Alright, Vex. What do the cool people do? Do the cool people beat up Nidoran and then throw the Pokeball? Or do they YOLO? Because they don't know the manipulation for perfect Pokeball. What do you do, Vex? Beat up the Nidoran? Not beat up the Nidoran. Tell me. I'm thinking, I'm thinking not beat it up, but maybe I should beat it up. Alright, got the Nidoran. <laughs> Hit that Nidoran, alright. We're, we're gonna tackle him up. Let's go. It did like no damage. <laughs> the double tackle. Yeah, this Squirtle's pretty, pretty awful. That's fine. This should be good enough, I think. Nidoran, please. Nidoran, please. Just go into the ball, okay? Yeah. Nope. <laughs> Come on. Ah, oh, jeez. Finally! Oh, whoops! I said no on giving him a name! Uh, 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 oh. <laughs> that's... That's so many frames gone. They're all gone. They're all gone. I killed all the frames. They're gone now. Remember when we saved the frames? That was before Order 66. The frames, man. They're not coming back. Maybe in a sequel trilogy, but not... Not today. Oh, man. <laughs> Better stop by the name raider. I mean, like, I could. I could talk to the name raider. I've never done that before. Oh man, <laughs> I don't feel good about this. Revenge of the frames, <laughs> yo.
This is no good. This is no good. Why am I having encounters? I'm walking in the right spots, aren't I? I mean, at least it wasn't a level 5 Pikachu. No, I'm walking in the right spots. Those are no encounter tiles. Why do you have an encounter in a no encounter tile? Was I walking in the wrong tiles? I must have been walking in the wrong tiles. <laughs> I don't know what I've done with my life, but... I feel like I've made some mistakes. I feel like I've made some mistakes. <laughs> Not catching a Pikachu? Yo, I don't need that Pikachu. He don't define me. I was in the wrong lane? Oh, okay. That makes a lot of sense. I'm lucky I only stumbled across a Pikachu then. Yo, nothing but string shots. From here on out... Okay, that's one poison sting, not gonna poison me. And then, nothing but string shots. Okay. I have to heal now. Ugh. I never get good Weedle fights. Never. Ever, ever, man. Just don't have any luck. Alright, alright. One more tackle. And just use String Shot. Come on, dude! Cut me some slack! Nope, I'm just gonna miss tackle. That's fine. That's fine. This run, this run's garbage. <laughs> Confirmed Garbo. Like, that Squirtle perfectly embodies what this run is. I mean, it is a trash Squirtle. Like, he is dealing no damage, dude. Alright, yeah, now I'm just gonna potion right here, man. I'm not feeling like chancing it. This run is cursed. Reset while we can. Now I'm in. There's no point in resetting. I gotta, I gotta just do the run. Do the run. Ugh. I don't, I don't like where we are. You know, and was saying happy little accidents? Don't talk about my students that way, even if it's true. Oh, Inviso, you're silly. It's early enough to reset, Banks. We won't judge. Not publicly, anyways. No, man. Like, I'm already going to be running into Golden Sun time, finishing this run. If I reset now, I'm going to be, like, super far into Golden Sun time by the time I finish. So, I might as well just do the run. Yo, look at that tackle damage. Alright, deal at least half. Okay. It's not complete trash. The Squirtle's not complete trash. You can actually beat a Dio, dude. You don't see that every day, unfortunately. Everything's gonna be just fine? Yo, maybe. Yo, Onyx, you Screech. Screech, 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 go. That is bye. That is not Screech. Alright, we're gonna Tail Whip. And go for another tail whip. Yeah, just in case he was going to take the extra turn of bide, I couldn't bubble there, I would lose. So, yeah, like, I could have bubbled, and, like, obviously I would have been safe on that turn, but if the RNG had not been in my favor, that would have outright killed the run. Like, there would have been no coming back from that. I would have to reset. And I didn't want to do that. Yeah, nah, no, no dead, dead run for me. I'll just take all my slow. Yeah, 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 blah, blah, blah. Yeah, we'll, we'll just be 34.7 seconds behind average. Yo, I'm always behind average, dude. What were my average runs like back in the day? Cause like, this feels pretty average to me, man. You know? Get a stupid encounter in Viridian City. Get a couple encounters in Route 1. 
you know, besides the one you need. Get poisons by Weedle. And just all the other unlucky things, man. Miss some tackles. No, I, you don't need Pokeballs. No, I still don't need Pokeballs. Potions, please. And then, uh, Paralyze Heals. Alright. Ooh, whoa, 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 whoa. Haha, <laughs> you thought I forgot. But I didn't. You thought I forgot. Nice try, game. Nice try. Back in your day, Invisal, you didn't walk in the wrong lane? That's true. I'd usually still get an encounter now and then, though. Just a random Kakuna. Like, on my way to the last bug catcher, or before the first one. Like, both of those patches, you have to walk into Encounter Grass. Yo, Amane saying hello, Super 2. Yo, how you going, Amane? What's up, man? Weedle? Just Lyrican? Yo, look at these string shots, dude. Feels good, man. Yeah, they can't poison me anymore. I'm a poison type. Yeah, Tackle should finish that job just fine. 12 HP? That's plenty. Plenty of HP. We're definitely gonna heal before the next fight, though. Next fight can be a bit of a doozy. Why did I leer? I should've just gone straight into Horn Attack, I think. That would've been the better choice. I think two Horn Attacks would've done the trick. Yeah, definitely. One day I'll remember. Yeah, no, we're not gonna red bar. Red bar is for squares. In fact, I think I'll use both my potions. This 26 HP isn't enough HP for the next fight. It's just not enough. This Raditz is too strong. Yeah, full HP, please and thank you. You know, Legend saying, just got my Rubik's Cube PB down from a four months of dedication to three days of dedication? Yo, that's that's good, man. You did it. Yo, I've never completed a Rubik's Cube. Those are too hard, man. Alright, so normally I leer, but I'm gonna go straight into the horn attack. And I think that's the right option. Oh, that hurt really bad. If I can get the two hit. No, I cannot. Yeah, now nah, Leer's the correct choice then. Hmm, 3 HP. That's the perfect amount! That's just enough to have to use a potion. Or we could full yellow. I don't know why I'm yellowing right now, that's dumb. This is so dumb. I should not do this. I should not do this, but I can't resist the temptation. 1 HP. Nah, nah, nah. Still in there, man. Still in there. That was real close. Yeah, I'm gonna just put another potion on that. Oh, the first rap ran out that fast. If I had known, I would have gone for the attack instead of the second potion. And before rap softlock? Nah, he's not Bell Sprout. He can't uh, do that to me. I'm pretty sure you have to, like, paralyze and rap. I don't know, it's some combination of these ability of these statuses, Wrap, Confusion, and Paralyze. Something about these three abilities can lead into a soft lock for the game. You only live once, yo. You do only live once. I was living, man. I was living on the dangerous side, but uh, it didn't work out. Oh yeah, that's right, you don't use Leer anymore. Forgot about that. You stop using Leer after uh, the fight with uh, Ekans. And, you know, Tentacker's Rubik Cube PB is somewhere between 60 and 90 seconds. <laughs> yeah, but that's, uh, that's not too bad. Not too bad. Might, might be a little good at it. Perhaps. 
my PB is still counting, you know? I've never completed a Rubik's Cube. Maybe one day. You know, used to Speed Cube like a decade ago? Yo, know, fair enough. Yo, know, Metapod? Get out of here, Metapod. <laughs> gotta save the frames, yo. Always gotta save the frames. If you're not saving frames, what are you doing? Yo, everything can be measured in frames, for sure. Yeah, how many frames can the human eye see? I know there's like a certain number of frames where it's like, our eyes can't even tell the difference. I don't know what that is, though. Yeah, just horn attack. You hate how film is 24 frames per second? Yeah, 24 is a little too slow, huh? the Metapod crits. We were getting Metapod and Kakuna crits last run. Not this time. Route 3 doesn't like us as much. Okay, that's fine. Watch this super quick Pidgey. Look at this super fast, amazing, flash-like, uh, super speedster Pidgey. There he is. Gosh darn it, man. Where were you? Taking 15 years, man. Alright, got the Pidgey. No problems. <laughs> Super fast Pidgey? So fast little runaway? No, we... We got the Pidgey. It just took, like, you know, a good, like, solid 10, 12 seconds walking back and forth. It was probably not that long. It feels like that long. Oh, man. Yeah, I think I need to heal. I'm pretty low on the HPs. I mean, Route 3 wasn't the worst. Definitely could have been a lot better, but it was... Absolutely not the worst. I blame not naming my Nidoran A. If I would have named him A, I would have saved all the frames. Get all those frames, man. They're <laughs> just gone. Just all gone. Yo, Vex, real quick, what you what you should do. You should go look up my PB. And tell me what the route is for the second manip in this Mount Moon, because I can't do it. I don't remember. I can get the Paris every time just fine, but doing the second part of the routing where like you don't get encounters, you can never do that right. I mess it up every time. Alright, this is the last Pokemon I need to catch. if I knew how to do the manip in my PB. I think I knew- I knew how to do it at one point in time. I don't remember if that was during my PB or even before that. I assume it would be during my PB since that would be my fastest time. And uh, you lose a lot of time in Mount Moon. So I'd be surprised if I didn't have encounters in Mount Moon without the proper manipulation. Because yeah, you can very easily lose two to three minutes in Mount Moon just through Zubats. And you know, Vex says, are you pushing and holding down A when you grab the Moonstone for like two seconds? Movement last run was correct from what you saw? I mean, cause yeah, you press A, like, as you walk into the tile for the Moonstone, right? You press and hold A as you walk into that tile, and you let go during the, uh, when the text box pops up. 
and then you're just good, right? Isn't that how it works? I'm pretty sure that's how it works. Maybe I did it wrong, though. Never knew how to do no encounter minute? Well, there's no no encounter minute. I specifically mean just, uh, after you evolve in the Nidorino, that manipulation there. Going from there to... Oh, I should have fought that Zubat. Going from there to, um, the Team Rocket, you should be able to have no encounters. And I've done it before. I just don't remember if it was in my PB or not. I have done it. Yes, I've done it multiple times. I've just forgotten how to do it. <laughs> I don't remember. The perfect no encounter manip is to use a repel. Yo, if there were any repels in the Kanto region this early in the game, they'd be part of the route, for sure. Only if only. Beck says, I think you're right, but my memory isn't that much better than yours. It is, but not much. Yo, fair enough, man. It's all good. At least, you know, I didn't lose any XP on uh, Route 3 this time, so I'll actually evolve into Nidorino after the spell sprout, because we did not do that last run. Last run, we were not in Nidorino until much later. I was beating up a, like, random Paris. And then turned uh, into Nidorino. The woodpecker cried, yo. It's a shame when that happens. Alright, and let's get this. Mmm, I would get an encounter here. The fairy! The fairy! No. <laughs> no, go away! Alright. Let's get this manip, this god-like manip. Perfect. Alright, you just gotta press A at the perfect time, thanks. Clearly, it's the timing of your A press that's been holding you back. Nah, I, I did something wrong. I, I don't know what it is. I'm consistently doing something wrong to run into the Zubat here. This is what I did last run too, and I think the run before that as well. I don't know what I'm doing incorrectly. I have no idea. But I'm definitely messing up. That's for sure. It says, nope, I saw what you did wrong. Oh wait, am I- I'm going right and then down. You're supposed to go down and then right, aren't you? That's what it is, yeah? Yeah? I think I'm doing it backwards. Yep, you have to go down. Gosh darn it. <laughs> I forgot! I forgot. It's down and then right, not right and then down. What's wrong with me? Well, Med says, hmm. So I don't think speedruns are my thing? You don't get them? Yo, it's all good, man. Speedruns aren't for everybody. Oh my goodness! Especially not for anyone trying to go through Mount Moon. Not unless you love fighting every single Geodude, Zubat, and Paris, and Clefairy in the entire cave. Uh, yeah, no, we're, we're gonna grab this XP. This should be good XP. It's, it's a level 12, and it's a Paris instead of a Zubat. Should be, what is that, 120? I don't know how much I need. I really gotta figure that out. Like, the exact number of XP you want to get from Mount Moon. I'll fight the second Paris too. I'm not fighting anything after this though. I'll just run away. Jeez, these encounters. Yeah, that's why you manip. That's why you do the manipulation so you don't have to do all these encounters, man. But, yeah, nah. I think what I'm gonna end up doing, rather than learning the old manipulation that I used to do, I'm gonna try to learn the new manipulation that they do in the uh, world record. Because they figured out a new manipulation for the cave. You save in the exact same spot. Whoops! I didn't evolve! <laughs> this will evolve before you fight this guy. It's not a big deal, I don't think. I'm just gonna not deal as much damage. 
and take more damage and get crit. <laughs> Feels bad, man. Feels bad. I was saying something. I forget what it was. Ah, supersonic. No, I'll just hit him. I won't hit myself. No! Not like this! 3 HP, now I'm out. <laughs> I'm out! Yo, you can fight this level 6 Pidgey though. Are you only gonna use Supersonic? Can he defeat my Pidgey? I don't know if he can. Nah, it's not gonna happen, I don't think. It's not gonna happen. I'm just gonna lose a lot of time here. I might as well attack. <laughs> That's a critical hit. Oh, jeez. Yeah, I, I just lost so much XP right there. Or, well, I lost 75 XP. Could be worse. Oh my goodness, man. I'm so bad. Yeah, I forgot to heal. Well, I didn't need to heal. I forgot to evolve. That's what I forgot. Should have evolved. Oh, that's what I was saying. I was saying that I was going to learn the new manipulation. I'm going to download the new emulator. Or, not the new emulator. I have the other emulator. But yeah, I'm going to learn how to use the other emulator for uh, this game. For speedrunning. And learn how to set it up for the manipulation. Good thing Zubat is trashed here. Yeah, I think it'll be fine. If I'm not level 21 before the Mankey fight, then it wasn't as fine as I wanted it to be. But, <laughs> work with what you got. You know? I would miss Tackle. I'm like, let me use Tackle. Let me go ahead and use Tackle, because he's got low HP. Should've used Poison Sting, man. Tackle, like, I might as well just be screaming, like, I don't want to hit. No hits, please. I don't like it when my attacks connect. Ah, oh, dude, that Zubat. He ate so much of my time up. Feels real bad, man. Just had to use Supersonic. You could've used Leech Life and I would've been fine. We would've red barred through the fight. That would've been as optimal as I could've made the situation. But nope. We don't get optimal RNG. Only the bad RNG. Where he Supersonics me. And I hit myself right after that. That's my kind of luck. Alright, average encounters from here to leave is zero. I currently have one. Or do I want to eat the Zubat? Nah, I think I'll be fine without the XP from him, I think. Off of those two delicious Parises we had, we should be fine. I only had one encounter, could have been worse. Could have been worse. <laughs> Yo, you forgot one of the steps of solving a Rubik's Cube? Yeah, rest in peace, Sense Doctor. I'm sure you'll get there, just, just you know, keep applying yourself. Alright, so we're absolutely definitely going to heal in the Pokemon Center. Going to grab the rare candy. Yeah, we got one rare candy in Mount Moon Cave. We're about to get one rare candy here in Cerulean City. Oh wow, the dude walked out of my way. It's very considerate of him. Don't mind me, I just come here for the candy. Just wanted a little bit of candy, that's all. I'll be on my way now. And now we get to fight a rival. Do you think I'll be like super lucky like I was last time and get like all the critical hits or... Or nah. It's man. I mean, I got more of the crits in the SS and fight than I did in this one. <laughs> and yo, Zaxxon with the follow. Yo, isn't Zaxxon the world record holder for Sonic Mania, or am I thinking of somebody else? Alright, let's beat up this Pidgeotto.
Yo, don't you sand attack. Oh, poison sting. Poison sting. I'm taking a risk every time I use tackle. <laughs> Yo, Zaxxon wants to lick, man. Let him lick. We don't have to bother him, none. He's a busy guy, you know? Getting them world records ain't easy. Inviso saying, remember when Banks played Sonic Mania? Yeah, we played a lot of Sonic Mania when that game came out, man. I had a lot of fun. It's a good game. Like, um, I don't play it too often now. I've played it off stream a couple of times. Like, just for fun, you know? I'm just like, hey, Sonic Mania, let me just do, uh, let me just play the levels. And, like, I don't feel as pressured, because, like, I'm still going, like, you know, just fast, because it's a Sonic game. But I don't really care if I, like, go off route or whatever. It's like, ah, I don't normally see this part of the stage. How can I go fast here? And it's just fun. <laughs> you know, Doomsday remembers when I played Super Mario 64. Yo, SM64 is a good game, man. I have a lot of fun playing SM64. I don't take it, like, super seriously, though. I'm not a huge fan of, uh, 3D... 3D speedruns. Like, I like 3D platformers, like, I do quite a bit. But as far as, like, speedrunning them goes, I just feel so inaccurate in all of my inputs that I don't have a lot of joy in trying to get better at the game comparison to 2D games, I feel way more precise playing something like Pokemon Red or Mega Man X2. I mean, those are two completely different genres, but you know, they're 2D games. So like, I generally move exactly where I mean to move. I mean, sometimes I make mistakes, but my movement is more what I want it to be in a 2D game than it is in a 3D game. Yo, Inura wishes I got more into Odyssey. Yeah, no, I, I tried Odyssey. I was definitely down to try it out. Like, going in, I already expected I probably wouldn't like it too much because it was a 3D game. But I wanted to give it a try, you know? I didn't want to just give up right off the start because I like the base movement. The movement's so cool in that game. It's really interesting. I love, you know, how you can dive in the air. I love that you can do the roll. I love the um, jumping off of Cappy. And all the, you know, you have so many options. You have so many movement options. And I love movement options in a game. Which is why I love Mega Man X2 so much. But it's 3D. <laughs> that's that's my main problem, man. I'm just not very accurate with the analog stick. So I can never be as precise as I want. You know, Breath of the Wild? Yeah, I, I tried Breath of the Wild. I had a little bit of fun with that, but... <laughs> not enough to want to speedrun it. Definitely not. I was like, nah, I'm, I'm good on this. It's like, I don't know. Like, some games, either I just have, like, a lot of nostalgia for them, and or I just really enjoy the moment-to-moment -moment flow of gameplay. But like, if I don't enjoy the moment-to-moment -moment flow of gameplay, like a lot, then I can't speedrun the game. I can enjoy it a lot casually, but speedrunning it, I'm just like, this is boring. And I can't, you know, be bored for two hours. <laughs> or I guess for Mario Odyssey, it's like an hour run. The world record's an hour four minutes last I checked. But still, like, I'm not good at the game, so it takes me two hours. Yeah, one day I'll do the second DLC. Yeah, I'll eventually do the second DLC for Breath of the Wild. I'm just definitely far more interested in playing Xenoblade Chronicles 2. I like that game a lot. I'm having a lot of fun with that. And I wanted to get back into Pokemon Red speedrunning. Which, you know, no one right now can be like, uh, I remember when this was a Pokemon stream. Because I'm playing Pokemon. <laughs> it's Pokemon right now. I forgot to use the rare candies. The whole point of fighting those Parises beforehand was so that I didn't have to be hit by that Karate Chop. I could use Thrash and I could knock him out in one turn. But nope. 
You know what would be even better? Let's not do that. Instead, let's just waste experience. Because I could have had that experience, but now it's gone because I'm using the rare candy on top of it. Oh well, let's just learn Thrash. Uh, don't need Leer. Vex saying, I remember when this was a Pokemon stream last night. It's still a Pokemon stream, Vex! What are you saying? I'll fight you. <laughs> you remember when this was a sub 220 Pokemon stream? Alright, that's fair. Yo, I missed the sub 220. <laughs> that was nice. Those were good times. I mean, hey, our average went down from that last run. It was 223 before. Now it's 222. Yay. Alright, we got the tiniest, tiniest bit of red bar. Maybe that makes up for messing that part up, man. The tiniest, tiniest bit of red bar. I'm gonna try to use it on this Machop, but it's probably not gonna go well. It just depends on, like, what he wants to do. Like, this is really dangerous, very little time save, huge potential of time loss, and it's much more likely, but uh, I'm still gonna go for it anyways. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm not gonna thrash the Geo, dude. I'm not gonna do it. The odds of him, like, using Defense Curl twice, or I guess three times in a row, and me getting the turn four thrash. It's just bad odds. He can put me back into red bar though, that would be nice. Nah, he's gonna defense curl instead. Alright, come on. Oh, critical hit! <laughs> yeah, that's not too bad. I'll take the crit. We, we're gonna happily accept that. Alright, let's grab that elixir. Wait, no, not him. Not him, Binks. I don't know why I always want to fight him. I always want to fight the bottom hiker, and it's like, no, you do not fight him. That is an onyx fight. It is super slow. Alright, let's switch to Thrash. Yo, quote 43, Barbie makeup accessory stream. Yo, that's not a real quote. What I actually said was Barbie makeup accessory extreme as in like e x t r e m e but i wasn't heard to be fair i corrected him before he added the quote <laughs> but it is what it is because yeah we were talking about like games that like i wouldn't play and i think i was saying that like i would rather play Barbie Makeup Accessory Extreme compared to Final Fantasy XIII. Like, I would rather play Barbie first. I think I would have more fun. Alright, so... Not getting any red bar. This guy has a Rattata, doesn't he? Yo, Rattata, you wanna quick attack me and put me in a red bar, please? Like, if I have low health, it makes that beeping noise, and that beeping noise cancels out all the other sounds, and it speeds up the game. So, if we could just get that quick attack real fast. Nope. Not enough speed on this rat, it's a... <laughs> Barbie in Sense of Win? Yo. <laughs> as soon as someone wants me to play Barbie, I don't think that's ever gonna happen. You know, people want me to play all these random games, man. I mean, to be fair, the only... I'm playing two games right now that have donation incentives. That's Xenoblade Chronicles 2, and that's, um... Golden Sun. Once I finish those, man, I'll be free again to just play, like, whatever, I guess. I mean, to be fair, I want to play both of those games. Like, I don't feel like I'm locked into these games and I can't have any fun. Nah. They're, they're both good games, man. But yeah, when I, fin when I finish Xenoblade, which is still gonna be a while, 
think I'm like 60 hours into the game. Um, some of that's just grinding though, like doing quests and stuff, but uh... Yeah, no, I'm sure it's gonna take me probably another like 20 hours. I'd say maybe like 20-25 hours to beat uh, Xenoblade 2, I would assume. I mean, I honestly don't know, but I would guess at least 20. And yeah, Golden Sun 2 though, I think I'll beat that game this week. Yo, Vex says I'm still on board with a, a Fire Emblem 9 incident, but it could be any of this midnight nonsense. Alright, sounds good. Yeah, just let me know what days are, like, the best for you, and then, you know, I'll try to figure out how that makes sense in my schedule. Yeah, escape rope, that's what I'm looking for. You shouldn't call the quest grinding when you choose to do them on a whim. I mean, you know, call it whatever you want to call it. I don't care. <laughs> it, it, it's whatever. And the doctor says, oh yeah, what have you been doing off stream? I see you open XE2 every now and then. Is that just Tiger Tiger? Ah! That's what I should do. I should do some Tiger Tiger. I forgot to do that. I need to do some Tiger Tiger. I've been meaning to do that off stream. But uh, no, I've been, um... I was uh, just doing quests, just random quests to get, uh... What's it called? WP or whatever? So I could get that, uh, use a drive ability after using another driver ability. For, uh, Zeke, I got him that. That's what I've been doing. And it took a lot longer than I thought it was going to. What am I doing? I'm looking for Thrash. Oh my goodness. What was it called? SP? Oh, okay. But yeah, no, I, I wanted to get Zeke that ability. But, uh, like, he didn't have any of the points for it. I just spent all of his points on, like, something else before I really knew, like, the strength of that ability. So, um... So yeah, we definitely, uh, I was just doing a bunch of quests, like, feeding no ponds or no ponds. I was just feeding a lot of no ponds really. I want some, uh, I don't know, I want some snacks, I want some, um... I specifically want this food that my mom used to make, stuff like that, man. Just been going around the world, feeding Nopons. And yo, Starmie's mad chill today. No bubble beams, no crits. <laughs> See you later, Starmie. Thanks for the free fight. And yeah, that's split for Misty. Feels good, man. And yo, Deez is in here. What's up, Deez? See, you got all the subs. That was a solid Misty easy peasy. Yeah, Misty's easy every time, dude. Didn't you know that? Why am I looking for a bike? <laughs> I do not have my bike yet. That is not now. Mercenary missions are the ultimate AFK. Oh yeah, that's something I was also doing. I did all of Ursula's things to get her to level 4. But I haven't like done the quest yet. Once I got all the level 4 things. But yeah, I did all of Ursula's mercenary things to be level 4. That was very tedious, but I didn't want to do it on stream, I'd rather do it off stream. The quests in this game are cool, you should do them on stream. Yo, the quests are so... boring. <laughs> I have no idea why you think the quests are so cool, man. I mean, like, there's a couple of quests, yeah. Like, some quests are good. The vast majority of quests are, I'm... I've got a, like, rumbly-tumbly, give me some food. Or, hey, friend, how are you doing? I'm lost. I can't remember how to get home. I bet I could remember how to get home if you gave me some food. Like, that's, that's the majority of quests. Go here, get me some food, come back to me, feed it to me, and then I'm gonna travel somewhere else. Oh, my ship broke down, I don't know what to do, get me some more food. 
And then you like get him the food and he's like, ah, I remember where to go now, okay, bye. Oh, I crashed again. This time, no, I'm, I'm all full. Please go get me some parts to fix my ship. Oh, you fixed my ship? Okay, bye. And then he flies somewhere else and then you have to talk to him again. That's not a cool quest. That's not... It's a little bit funny. It's a little bit funny. But... There's a lot of that. And not all of it's funny. <laughs> Most of it's just feeding Nafans, man. Do that one quest with the core crystals off stream? How would I do that quest? I don't know what it is. <laughs> yeah, I did a bunch of random quests that I like already had. Or, like, there's a quest where like a little kid fell into the cloud sea, so I just walked over to him and talked to him. I did that quest. Um, I did a few quests where it's like, I'm trapped, fight these monsters. Thank you for fighting these monsters, I can go home now. And, um, I think I might have done a quest where, like, hey, I want you to go salvage. And then you, like, go salvage. And they're like, thank you. But yeah, that's that's mostly what I've been doing off-stream for uh, Xenoblade Chronicles 2. <laughs> and you're saying, you talked about the somewhat trash, not exactly trash Xenoblade. Um, yeah, no, like, um, I like Xenoblade Chronicles 2. I think the combat's really cool, I enjoy the game overall, but if there's one thing that I think is very tedious in the game, it's questing and uh, the affinities for blades. Raising affinities for blades is exceptionally boring and monotonous. Alright, what am I doing? I am buying three super potions and three repels, yeah I already have paralyzed heals. And I'm selling something? Not a... Oh wait, yeah, I'm selling Pokeballs. I don't need those. Alright, good to go. And your D says, Listen here, children. You can't expect to play an RPG without side quests. You gotta stop crying about that. And though I agree with you, the affinity and somewhat with the whole side questing thing. I mean, I don't know about you, Ds, but I used to play RPGs where a side quest was part of the main game. Like, and not like an arbitrary go play hide and seek with these kids before you get to play the next Sonic level. I mean like, you know, uh, say the king lost his crown or whatever, you would have to go into a cave and do a full dungeon to get the crown and come back. It wasn't this like really quick content they pushed out where it's like, fight 10 volves, okay, good job. Now fight these 10 volves in this different region. Okay, good job. Now I need you to beat up these really big monsters. Beat ten of those. Come back. That's that's not interesting. That's not interesting. There's no... There's nothing happening there. They're just telling me to do things that I've already done. They're like, please go do this again. And I literally just threw the game. <laughs> why did I thrash on Pidgeotto? Someone tell me what I've done and why I did it. Because this was a terrible, terrible idea. Am I still alive? <laughs> I'll, I'll get this critical hit on Raticate. Yo, Kadabra's gonna murder me! Yo, maybe I'll get the turn 4 thrash, yeah? Turn 4 thrash? Nope! <laughs> I'm out! Yo, you can fight this Pidgey, though! You can fight this Pidgey! Alright, he's gonna teleport. And confusion. Can that take me out? I'm level 7. Yeah, that'll do it. Alright, that was real bad. That's gonna have to be my save. That red split though? Ugh. It's not over yet, Real Bean. We could we could still be in the blue. That was that was definitely a costly mistake, but it could have been worse. The vast majority of affinities can be done by completing Merc missions. Definitely not Perun. Perun cannot be done by doing Merc missions. And again, Merc missions wouldn't be so bad if the game didn't have to be on. Like, if it was, you know, because, like, it's clearly trying to be, like, a mobile game where, you know, you just tell it to go do something and you put it down and go and do something else, which is my least favorite way to play a game. <laughs> but, um, but yeah, no, like, I should be able to set a Merc mission, turn off my game, turn it back on four hours later, 
and it used its own in-game clock to be like, okay, four hours have passed since the last time. Or not in-game clock, but like the system clock. They're like, yeah, four hours have passed. This mission's done. But nope, you have to leave the game running. I don't like that. I don't like that at all. You don't remember Perun? Yo, Perun is the one where to unlock her second affinity, you have to do three good deeds. Which, mind you, you can't necessarily do at the beginning of the game. Like, uh, you have to find enough people that you can do good deeds for. And then after you unlock the second affinity, you can't do all of the things in her second thing because they have question marks in them. Which means you haven't been in the area yet. So, yeah. Rune's pretty OP. <laughs> you thrashed on Pidgeotto because you're bad at video games. <laughs> that sounds about right. That's probably the correct answer. And, uh, well, Vinx, what you've done is thrash the Pidgeotto. Why you did it is probably because your thumbs are bad. Yeah, that's, that's probably it. I probably have bad thumbs. Um, what am I looking for? Team 11? That's Bubble Beam. Yeah, sure, let's teach that. And we're teaching it over Leer, I believe? Yeah, we don't... Oh no, I don't have Leer. Goodbye, Poison Sting! No more Poison Sting. And then, um... What else? HMO1? Cut? Yeah, teach that to Paris. And I just need TM... What is it? 28? Yeah, TM28. Contains Dig. Teach that to Paris. There you go, buddy! I believed in you the whole time. And we're gonna save right here, yeah? And then let's do this manipulation, man. Here we go. Vast majority of blades need trust, but there are exceptions. Yeah, it's the exceptions that makes it lame. I'm not saying it's the end of the world or anything. It's just something I'm not in love with. Robin says, I request Super Mario Odyssey speedruns. I've watched way too many of them. I'm so bad at Super Mario Odyssey, Real Bean. I'm not good at speedruns for that game. I'm really slow. <laughs> it wouldn't be a speedrun, it would be a slow run, I assure you. Like, I can beat the game in about somewhere between two to three hours, but it, it takes a while. Did I get money off stream? Yes. I was trying to do someone's affinity. Because, like, there was the requests I had to do where I needed to get, like, a legendary drop that was, like, a flower or a legendary drop that was something else. There was a lot of item farming I had to do. And I didn't want to be level one <laughs> to do it. I was like, I should have level two or level three blades for these kind of activities. And a lot of them could only be upgraded by getting treasure chests. So I was using silver things at first. I was using the silver ones, uh, the silver like salvaging things. And then I started using gold ones. I currently have like 200,000 monies or something like that. I have a lot of monies. And yeah, yeah we saved time in Lieutenant Surge. Feels good, man. <laughs> you know I'm bad at SMO. That, that's what makes it fun to watch. I don't know, I don't like being like really bad at a run and doing it. It doesn't feel good. It's just like, man, I'm... It's, it just is no good. Two hundred thousand a lot? Relative to me, it is a lot of money. Two hundred K is a lot for me right now. I can buy anything in the game that I have access to. There's nothing I can't buy. I can just buy out stores left and right, buy the deeds, and it doesn't put a dent in my money. I can just fully upgrade everyone on their weapons, no problem. Relatively, that is a lot of money, thank you. I seem to be enjoying Super Mario World. Yeah, that's a fun game. <laughs> I'm trying to get on my bike. You have to go grab the bike first. You know, Nurse says you should do a uh, boxer percent run. 
It's like 15 minutes. Boxer percent? But what is that? I don't know what that is in there. I've never heard of it. Yeah, let's move that potion down there. And... Wait, I need to move something else, right? Yeah, this repel. I'm gonna need these repels. And then... What else? <laughs> Whatever, I guess. Alright, to use this HM. Wait, no, I already taught that. I knew that. This TM. Thunderbolts. I need Thunderbolts. And what do I forget? Uh, tackle. The boxer percent equals get the boxers? Is that it? That's very silly. That is very, very silly. <laughs> My menu means so bad, dude. I haven't found the shop with the inherited core crystal. Yeah, there's a 500,000 core crystal. <laughs> I haven't seen that, that's for sure. All the shops I've been to, like the most expensive items are like 5k. And that's not the majority. The majority, like the expensive items, like 2k. Oh, I have seen it. I saw it and noped out. Yo, that must have been a long time ago. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I didn't see that in, like, Leftharian. I highly doubt I found that in Leftharian. Or, uh, not Leftharian, I mean to say Tantal. Yeah, I don't think I found that in Tantal. I'm sure it was much earlier in the game. It was near the start of the game? Yeah, I, I figured. Yeah, I'm not that rich. <laughs> I'm not that rich. No siree. That would take so much time. I mean, I could do it, but it would definitely take time. Get 500k. Not happening that fast. It's in Torigoth. Yeah, Torigoth is a cool place. Super can't salvage you. I mean, I can salvage, but it's like, you know, you're getting like the uh, the legendary drops, right? And like, say, Argentum. And like, you need like five of these like zap screws or something. And you need two of these like titania somethings. I can't remember what they're called. And yeah, you get like 30k for that, which is nice. But you don't, you don't get all of those, you know? Like, I've had, you know, like a level, like, plus three salvage, plus two, plus two, plus uh, one, plus one, plus one. Like, I've had, like, seven people, like, help me. One of them level three, two of them level two. And, like, even with all that support, like... Nah, even with all that support and using the gold salvage, I'm not always going to get the legendary item drops. Like, I'll get three, tr I'll get three chests. And if I'm lucky, I'll get what I want. I don't have salvage mastery? No. I had a three with salvage mastery, a two, a two, a one, a one, a one, and a one. And use gold thing. The gold thing. Like, I do sometimes get them. They just don't always drop. <laughs> they don't always drop. And like, sometimes, like, you'll get the, uh, the zap screws, and you don't get the, like, titania things. Or vice versa, you'll get the titania things, and you don't get the zap screws, and you need like five zap screws. Five of them. Any of my rare blades have salvage mastery? No, <laughs> I don't think so. All of my blades with Salvage Mastery, I'm pretty sure, are all just common blades. Just random ones that I've been opening up. Like, I haven't opened up any blades off-stream. These are all blades that I've been had. And yeah, they're all just common. You know, Tintocker says you're uh, talking stacking blade skills, but all the Salvage Mastery blades you can in your party buy all the gold cylinders. 
I mean, that's what I did. That is definitely what I did. Like, I am making money. It's just not as fast as I wish it was, is what I'm trying to say. Like, I can definitely make, like... Because, like, I remember, like, how I started salvaging. I meant to buy 10 silvers, but apparently they sold up to 99, so I accidentally bought 27 silvers. And so I used all those up, and that put me at about, like, um... How much money did that put me at? It put me at like 60k or something. Something around there. And then after that, I bought like as many of the gold ones as I could. And I've just been buying the gold ones over and over again. And that's how I got up to 200k. But even then, like that took a while. <laughs> that's a lot of salvaging. And yeah, you get you get other things. It's not like I'm only counting on the 30k things, because, like, there's, like, these 6Ks you get with the, like, butterfly screws or butterfly nuts or something. I don't know what they're called. It's some gear that's, like, a butterfly. They're effectively worth, like, about 1,100, but, like, they pair with so many of the different things that you can get 6K with, but, like, they're the main important one. It usually costs, uh, two and all the pairs that they're in. And so you'll get, like, 6K, 6K, 6K. But, like, in all of those pairings, you need, like, six of, like, uh, whatever the other item is. And it's not as rare as the butterfly one. But, again, you need six of them. So, sometimes it takes a little bit. <laughs> Yo, Legend, with the Pog Champ, I don't even care that emo didn't work. Yo, it's all good, Legends. You know, clearly I should stop talking about Xenoblade, because, like, only Doomsday and Tense Doctor <laughs> seem to care, rip. Rest in peace, everybody else. I mean, it's a fun game. I have a lot of fun playing it, for sure. Maybe I should focus a little bit more on the Pokemon, though. And yeah, the DLC for Xenoblade? I don't even know what that is. I have no idea. Wait, I remember the name of items? I remembered part of the name of items. How many elixirs do I have right now? I have one elixir. Should I grab that? No, I don't need it. I don't need it. You don't have to grab it, thanks. Don't have to grab it. I was doing it just before the stream. Not exactly. I was cooking before the stream. So it would have been before I was cooking or eating, so... It would have been, like, about... Around, like, 4 p.m. So about, uh... 7 hours ago? I should have used Thrash. I don't think Bubble Beam will one-hit. Oh, crit! <laughs> that works, I'll take it. You know, Vex says, I'm not disinterested, I'm just doing homework. My bad for trying to be a productive adult. You know, it's all good, Vex. No worries, man. Yeah, I don't need to, like, force you into conversation. You just bulk savage, uh, salvage with level 1 uh, salvage mastery. Yeah, I was doing that at first, and I was just really unenthused with, like, how I wasn't really getting anything. And so, I was like, what do I have to do to get level 2 and level 3 Salvage Mastery on these common blades? And they didn't look like I had to do much, so I did those things. And I got my level 3 and my two level 2s. And, like, it's so huge a difference. Like, as far as I could tell, like, the number one factor on how rare the items you're going to get and how many items you get is the, um... Whatchamacallit, is the salvaging thing you're using if you're using the like common silver or gold cylinder like that seemed to be the most impactful uh second to that was if you were excellent or not like if you, you could miss one of those things man you could miss one of those things and you just get nothing but nothing but dirt you're like ah oh, yeah use this gold cylinder here's some dirt 
<laughs> That's what you get for missing. But I don't want dirt. Oh, and it comes with it comes with two of these crabbies. You can fight them. I don't want to fight any crabbies. No, thank you. All right, super repels. I think I need eleven of these. Oh, there we go. Oh, whoops, I went the wrong way. Oh, you're not supposed to buy any super potions here, are you? I always buy super potions. You're not supposed to buy them. <laughs> that adds up. Whoops. Um, let's see. Poke doll? Yeah, one poke doll. You know, could I sell you? I sell you this lovely nugget. Actually, two of them. They're for you. And would you also like to have this lovely TM18 I totally didn't get from one of the other guys in the same store? <laughs> Yo, Tense Doctor with the assist. Feels good, man. Line luck critical? Yeah, I just, I don't have the luck, man. I don't have the luck to just get all the legendary items without, like, really stacking things in my favor. <laughs> I'm a very unlucky guy. If, you know, I have, like, extreme odds to, like, win a gamble, I'm gonna lose. <laughs> I'm the kind of guy that can lose a 50-50 14 times in a row. That's my luck, dude. I can get tails 14 times in a row. That's the kind of guy I am. Done a lot of salvaging for the max dev levels. Yeah, I definitely upped dev levels a lot. It wasn't my intention. It just kind of happened. Um, X accuracy, right? Yeah, 11 of these. Though it did let me get the Coral Nopon chest set. I had to give it to that little kid, so that worked out. Because then I could get uh, Perun's uh, level 2 stuff. Yeah, I'm not even sure what the three good deeds I did were. No, 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 I know two of them. No, I think I know all three. I think my first good deed was feeding the little, um, monster in Torigoth, the one that's, like, in the farm that, like, grows up. Yeah, it, I was feeding him forever because I didn't know, like, if I got a second good deed or not. And so he's level 100 now, or 99. Where do I go? HMO2 fly, yep. So yeah, he's level 99 now. I fed him all the things. That took a long time to do, a very long time. And I didn't get a second good deed for it. I thought I would. I wasn't sure that's where I got the first good deed from anyways. Um, the second one was in... Indeline or whatever it's called? I bought all of the little girl's cookies. And then the third good deed was giving the kid the chess set. Alright, TMO7. You maxed the Armu already? Yeah. I can't fight him. <laughs> He's far too powerful for me. You didn't kill it? No, I did not kill it. <laughs> He's level 99. He would kill me. No, not Ice Beam. I need to teach uh, the other one. Wait, let me do HMO2. While I'm here. Wait, I should move these. I get X speed up here. Get X accuracy up here. And yeah, TM48, rock slide. Yes, one for me, please. I uh, don't need bubble beam. Yo, Mr. Pidgey, if you would nicely fly me over to Lavender Town, I know you're fainted, but you know, just just fly me anyways, okay? Thank you. You know, if I could have a repel, we've got 11 of those, let's go ahead and use one. Oh, if you kill it before it's level 99, it's dead for good? <laughs> Got you. Yeah, no, I saw I could attack it, and I was like, is this what I have to do for a good deed? I was like, I kind of doubt, you know, striking down this baby Armu is what'll get me a good deed. So I, I fed him instead. I kept feeding him, and I never got a good deed for it, because I already had it, but I didn't realize. 
Use the X speed in this fight? I'm gonna assume use the X speed in this fight. And then, uh, yeah, just horn drill. Oh, you can kill that level 80 and didn't know it would stay dead. Yo, rip. Plenty of noobs killed at level 1. I mean, you can just attack it. I thought about it. I pulled out my blade and everything. Like, I pulled it out with Zeke. I had the full blade out. And I was like, wait, no. <laughs> this is a bad idea. I shouldn't do this. And so I put the blade back away. Because I didn't think I was going to get a good deed for striking him down where he stood. He wouldn't become more powerful where he, where he was. Nah, he's not a Jedi. He's just a little baby. So we, we fed him instead. Legend says I accidentally targeted a thing and one-shotted it, then proceeded to reload your save and lost 40 minutes of progress. Yo, rip. I chose the spare. It seemed, it seemed like the right option. Not technically a side quest, it's a UM. Yeah, I was doing it for Perun. I thought getting him to level whatever, whatever his max level was, I thought was a good deed. But, nah, you feed him the first time, that's what the good deed is. I thought I had gotten my first good deed in Argentum when I talked to the Nopon there with the trophy on his head. But I think I have to talk to him a second time to get his good deed. Because he went somewhere else in the world, but I, I don't know where he is. I've never seen him since, so... I never got that good deed. But I thought I did. Yo, Legend, you're stubborn about side questing? Yeah, I'm not a huge fan of side questing. Which is why I did a lot of it off stream. Velian says, I didn't know it would stay dead, so I took a shot at the fight when your party was level 82. Got you. Yeah, that's fair, man. I didn't know, like, you know, knocking him out when he was a baby would have been a bad idea. I had no idea, I was just like, this seems like it won't be a good deed, <laughs> and so I didn't fight him. You don't think any of the Armu feedings are good deeds? You could be wrong. No, I'm pretty sure feeding him the first time is a good deed. I'm pretty certain. Otherwise, I don't know what my first good deed was. And this is a fight I'm not supposed to do. <laughs> Yet here I am, doing it. I walked a little bit too far to the right. I was trying to hold down, but apparently got a right input. So, bonus XP! I'll just, I'll just heal now, thank you. Am I supposed to... No, I don't think I grabbed that item over there. You know, you found all 12 brother-sister pawn? Is that a good deed? I don't know what that, uh, one is, specifically. <laughs> Meanwhile, Ginbu is dead? Yo, Ginbu isn't dead. They said I had, like, what, three hours or something? I'm sure I still have, like, at least two hours and something. I'm sure. <laughs> Crushed under the pressure of the cloud sea. Nah, he'll be fine, man. It'll be just fine. Yo, still, man, somebody needs to tell me why, like, they named them all different things. Rock, Genbu, Romark, and Zerda. Do those names feel like they have any chemistry to them? I don't feel the chemistry. <laughs> Don't worry, Vanks, it's a th it's three Dragon Ball hours? Yo, it's three Dragon Ball hours, dude? How- oh my goodness, that's forever! How many- how many days is that? Weeks, even! Uh, Pokedoll, Pokedoll, there it is. <laughs> you still have months? Yeah, you're right. That's- that's like at least- like what, at least five months? I'd wager that's five months. Alright, let's actually use the right attack. Let's use Thunderbolt. 
they don't have the same relevance in XE2 story. I mean, they definitely don't. Like, there's... Like, it's weird. Like, I get it, because, like, it's a nod, right? A lot of Japanese games do that. A lot of them do. There's always, you know, Suzaku, Seiryu, Ginbu, Byako. They're always there. And yeah, and a lot of, um... Translated games here in America, like it's usually done one of two ways. They just keep the names, there's still the Japanese names, or they name them something completely random. <laughs> like Dranzer. Dranzer is Suzaku, uh, Dragoon is Seiryu, uh, I can't remember the other ones. I'm sure someone has to remember Dranzer and uh, Dragoon. I can't be the only person. But maybe I am. <laughs> I won't say what it's from, I'll just see if chat knows. You know, D says, Nah, their names don't mean anything in English. Only their Japanese names mean something or are connected to something. Yeah. I mean, like, their names do mean something. The connection's just not there. Like, Rock is a mythical bird. It's not a phoenix, but it is a mythical bird. Um, Dromark apparently doesn't like have a meaning, but I'm told it's like, like drum something. It, Akiko Kala said it was like drum go or something. I don't know. Either way, it's like a town somewhere in Ireland, I think. Akiko Kala said. And then you have uh, who is it? Azurda which is literally shortening the words Azure and Dragon for Blue Dragon, which literally, uh, Seryu's name is Blue Dragon. That's probably the most honest, like, uh, translation out of all of them. Can I beat a Ratata with a Thunderbolt? Yes, I can. That one was pretty honest. Yeah, I'll use Thrash here. And then, um, what was the last one? Oh, yeah, and Genbu. Genbu's just Genbu. <laughs> they didn't translate it. Just Ginbu. As long as I save Ginbu before the Tournament of Power ends, I'll be fine. Yo, the Tournament of Power only lasts for three more minutes. Which I know is probably, like, not gonna be done till April, I don't think. So I think I have about two months. Yeah, I think three Dragon Ball minutes should probably last us about two months. <laughs> Yo, Vex saying... Three DBZ hours, that's at least 180 episodes with the way things are going in Super. Yup. There are only four episodes left for Super? Oh, is there? Nah, I read your comment, Ds, didn't I? Oh, I did. Yo, why? Ah, oh, jeesh. Lost focus, alright. Um, what do I do here? I fly. Where do I fly to? To Celadon City. And I heal? Yeah, you have to heal, because I've never healed in the Pokemon Center. I need to be able to uh, dig to here later. But yeah, four episodes of Dragon Ball Super, that can't be right. I don't think that's right. That sounds off. There's, there's a, there's no way they can end this in four episodes, I doubt it. I mean, maybe I could just be wrong. And maybe it's gonna be way faster paced than I think it is. If so, that's actually kind of cool. But, really? Yeah, we're gonna use a Repel here. Gonna use Team 13. Alright, what is that? Rock Slide? Yo, you're telling me Super ends in March? There's only four episodes left. Oh man. That's real sad, dude. That's real sad! Yeah, it ends on 131. Oh no! <laughs> Valiant Vexatious, tell me it isn't so. Oh, I did read your comment? Yeah, I, I was pretty sure I did these. I got you. I didn't hear about the soon hiatus. I heard it, it was gonna be soon. I I was told April. I was told it was April, not March. No, it's not enough episodes. They're not gonna. They're not gonna do what I. Oh no. I mean, bonus XP. 
Yay! Ah. Yeah, there's a rare candy I need to grab. What does he even have? A Machop? Yeah, I'll, I'll just use Thrash. As long as he doesn't have a Rock-type Pokémon, I should be fine. That Machop is far sturdier than I thought it was. And Machoke. Ugh, I'll get the turn 4 Thrash for the first time in the past two days, right? Oh yes, let's go! Turn 4 Thrash! Finally! Finally turn 4 Thrash. It always ends a turn early for me, man. I have the worst luck. Bonus XP. All part of the plan. Alright, where is this? Yeah, there's a rare candy. They may make a new series after Super eventually. I mean, they got to, man. I need that. I need it in my life. Absolutely. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Should be right here. Oh, I was off by one. It's hard to count them. The flowers go by so fast. You know, Vex says, yep, the next episode, we both know what it's about. Then 129, 130 will obviously be Goku versus Jiren. And then 131 will wrap everything up. That's so fast! I mean, I know the Tournament of Power has been going on for a while now, but I still expected the Jiren fight to last, you know, more along the time span of, like, you know, a Perfect Cell fight, or, if, like, not as long as a Frieza fight, that's too long, but... I mean, I don't think I've ever seen a fight last this few episodes. That's crazy. I mean, I'm not against it, that's a new step for the series, man. Like, for one of the, like, you know, super hyped up antagonists, you know, go into their, like, final form or whatever, and it only lasts that many episodes? That's interesting. Did that Machop just Gen 1 miss? Did he miss me? I thought he hit me. I wasn't paying attention, though, so... Alright, first things first, use the PP up. Use that on... No! Oh, use it on Thrash! We're not going to talk about that. We're not going to talk about that. We're just going to move on ahead. Yeah, Bulma's voice actor passed away. Yeah, it's really sad, man. Japanese voice actor. She was amazing, man. I love her voice so much. Like, the English voice actor for Bulma is obviously good, too. But the Japanese voice actor? Oh, man. The way she expresses herself. Oops. Yo, yellow strats! <laughs> Didn't want to use the second repel. We gotta go through a little bit more grass. Yes! Okay, we're golden, we're golden. Alright, we're gonna pick up the gold teeth this time. Gonna, gonna pick up the gold teeth. Yeah! <laughs> Vex says, you better believe we're gonna talk about that. I said, let's not, Vex. Why would you want to talk about that? Let's move on. That's the past. You gotta live in the present, you know? If you're always living in the past, how are you supposed to move forward in your life, man? I'm looking out for you. I'm looking out for you, man. I lost so much time fighting that biker. Alright, let's go to self -co. I'm about to forget Thrash! I'm gonna teach Earthquake over it, man! Ah! That's such a waste. I just pressed the buttons too fast. I thought there was one more A button prompt, and I was wrong. There was not another A button prompt. The dissatisfaction. Oh well. Just gotta keep moving forward. Next says, I'm not living in the past, I'm concerned with the future. Are you gonna beat Gary without six horn drills? Nah, that's easy. We'll just we'll just earthquake either Alakazam or Arcanine. Probably Arcanine? Because I'm really, really scared of Alakazam. I couldn't care less what Arcanine's gonna do. Arcanine. He's not gonna beat me up. Alakazam, I'm sure he could one-shot me. Like maybe he can't, but I feel like he can.
Yo, why is Machoke gotta be so burly? Get out of here, guy. Yo, the two hit, not gonna happen. Alright, no more Machoke. Alright, we're just gonna have a real nice self co. We're gonna save a lot of time on this split. Easy peasy. And yo, my favorite thing about playing 2D games over 3D games is the fact that, like, I can, um... Let's see how to say this. I can, uh, shake the right analog stick on my controller and it doesn't do anything. Versus other 3D games. I shake the right analog stick mid speed run. <laughs> I just throw stuff away, man. I don't need Thrash anymore. Yeah, like, that's just a habit I picked up from playing Smash Brothers. If, like, I'm not doing anything, I just start messing with the right analog stick. It's like ADD or whatever, but, you know, I'm not doing anything. I get bored. I didn't mean to go back up the stairs. Yeah, I get bored and I just kind of mess around. But in some games, man, I just start messing with the right analog stick. And that completely ruins you because it actually does things in the game. I can't remember what game I was playing. There was definitely a speedrun game I was doing. And the right analog stick, moving that around, totally bodied me. I don't know if it was like Odyssey, if it was Breath of the Wild. And yo, Zezima's hosting me! Oh snap! Yo, Zezima, thank you so much for the host, dude. Much appreciation. Yo, didn't see that coming. Definitely not. But yo, how we doing everybody? I am playing the wonderful game of Pokemon Red. Doing a lovely speed run. Where we're not losing all the time. We're totally uh, 1 minute and 39 seconds ahead of average. Feels good, man. Yo, Zezima's the best. Now I'd introduce Zezima to my people, but <laughs> I think everybody knows who Zezima is. I don't know if there's anybody that doesn't know Zezima. Yo, you're too nice, man. And yo with the follow, yo. Thank you very much. Yeah, for those of you just popping into my stream, my name is Vanks. I am Vanks of super to you I like to do speedruns. I do speedruns of, let's see, Pokemon Red, uh, Mega Man X2, and then there's a couple of other games. Do I need the XP for this fight? I think I do. Yeah, mostly those two, Mega Man X2 and Pokemon Red. And I also like to play a bunch of RPG games. Um, just Ice Beam. I like to... Yeah, I'm currently playing through, like, Xenoblade Chronicles 2. I'm playing through Golden Sun 2. Which I'll be playing Golden Sun 2 after I finish this run. It'll be just casually, though. No speed run. <laughs> you don't know Zezima? Oh, snap. Vex. He's, like, he's the king, man. How do you not know the king? I'm so confused. <laughs> this isn't a RuneScape stream. I mean, it's not, but, like, so many people know RuneScape, so... People usually know who Zezima is. I'm surprised Vex doesn't know. But he is a legend. This is true. Alright, so, Alakazam, Earthquake? Do I Earthquake him? Uh, yes! Apparently that's the answer. I'm trying to remember which Pokemon I body with which attack, and not always remembering. But hey, I didn't faint in the fight. <laughs> I didn't lose the Gyarados, didn't lose the Alakazam. Feels good, man. Yo, Slam Diddy saying, uh, Zezima brought me here? Yo. Thanks for popping in, man. <laughs> this could be a RuneScape stream? Yo, man. I'd be so bad. Nobody wants to watch Zezima play and then watch me play. <laughs> nope. Definitely not. Yeah, you gotta you gotta play other games, different games, so you're not directly competing. That's the way to do it. <laughs> Yo, Vex, aren't you just such a sweetheart? No, Super Sin Slayer saying it's time for another round of Guess the Perler. These have something to do uh, with uh, Super to You, or when Super to You really was two. It has something about going back in time. Hmm. 
Something to do with back in time and back when, like, there were two people playing on my stream. Um, I mean, I never played Mario & Luigi Partners in Time, but, like, if I think time and two people, that's the first thing that pops into my mind. Wait, am I supposed to fight Giovanni? Did I forget something? I don't know. But yeah, Super Sin Slayer is making a video game based perler. I don't know what it is though. If it's not Baby Mario and Baby Luigi, what could it be? What games have I streamed that have to do with time? Chrono Trigger? Well, I did play Chrono Trigger back in the day, but my sister wasn't playing that with me. I definitely played Chrono Trigger on stream though, this is true. Did I use the X accuracy? I don't think I did. Yo, um... YOLO! <laughs> YOLO! Comet punch, aw, oh, jeez. Yo, hit two times. Oh, thank goodness. <laughs> it is multiplayer, I just didn't know it yet? Oh, okay. Uh, what other games have I played that have time in them? Uh... I mean, we played a lot of Super Mario Maker, but I can't think of anything time-based with that. Nurse says, well, the only games I really saw Vinx and Sin play were Smash and a little bit of Mario Maker. Yeah, those were our main games, man. Back in the day when I first started. Majora's Mask? Nah, I haven't played Majora's Mask on stream, but that, that definitely has to do with time. Um, oh, what are other time-based games, man? Time-based. Um, uh, Joe and Mac? Did I play Joe and Mac on stream? I definitely have played that with my little sister a lot, but I can't remember if we played that on stream. Oh, why did I go into here? I need to go to Koga. Ah, oh, jeesh. Yo, super bad, man. Yeah, Fuchsia City, that's what I'm looking for. <laughs> Joe and Mac is a good game, but that's not it. Yo, fair enough. Oh, man, what could it be? I'm based. Multiplayer. Or at least we did it together. It's not necessarily multiplayer. I don't think that's what he said. Yeah, nah, not Ocarina of Time. Oh, man. Is 112 the world record? No, the world record for this game, I think, is 149? It's sub 150, but I'm not sure what it is exactly. Um... Oh man. That's so way back in the day. It's hard to remember, man. <laughs> what games have we even played? Um... I don't really remember us playing games besides Mario Maker and, um, like, Mario Kart, Smash Brothers. Maybe it does have to do with Smash Brothers? Is there any Smash character with time powers? Is it Bayonetta? <laughs> it could be Bayonetta, <laughs> maybe. Not Smash Bros, okay. I could totally take the world record in this if I got good? Yo, for sure. Easy peasy. I mean, to be fair, this game's all about luck. If I could just get really good at menuing, if I practiced menuing a lot, learned all the, uh, oh, jeesh. I was supposed to use an elixir, but I didn't. Ooh, psychic, am I dead? Yeah, I'm dead. <laughs> RIP! Oh man, I tried to use a backup strat because I didn't use the elixir before the fight and I super failed. Yeah, that's that's the fight, man. That's a lot of lost time. This this isn't the first time I've died to this fight. Absolutely not. This fight's OP. Did I play anything with another two that had time in it? Not that I can remember and get good, yo. <laughs> Sometimes you make mistakes. I didn't know Drowsy had Psychic. I thought I was gonna use maybe like Confusion, right? I thought it would have been fine. 
And I shouldn't have used Thunderbolt, though. I mean, like, my only physical option was Earthquake and Horn Drill. So, and I only have one Earthquake, and I had to use the one Earthquake against Hypno. By not using the Elixir before the fight, I died. I was supposed to use an Elixir, but I forgot. Forgot to use the Elixir. Oops. Yo, yeah, you'd love to see me take uh, Pokemon Red more seriously? Oh yeah. Like, I think I probably will. I'll probably start taking this game a bit more seriously. I'm gonna change my emulator to the the current one, because this one used to be legal for speedruns. Oh, I already fought him, I forgot. <laughs> um, but yeah, this used to be legal for speedruns. My time I have on the leaderboards is with the BGB emulator, but now they use Gumbate, I believe, so I have to switch to that one. I could have saved so much time on the split. I could have saved so much time, dude. Instead, I'm throwing it all away. Yo, yeah, rip. Do I want another hint? Yeah, I'm gonna ask for another hint. I honestly can't remember any of the games that I played back in like 2015, early 2016. Like, not outside of Super Mario Maker and uh, Smash. That's all I remember. So yeah, I'm not going to be able to get the, um, the red bar strat after this. That's also more time lost for the future. It's just a shame, man. Once you hit a certain part in the game, getting time loss in one part affects the entire rest of the run pretty significantly. Alright. Well, Koga's still an easy fight. I don't have to worry about my items, or, or not items, my uh, attack usage, because we ended up using the Pokemon Center, because we whited out, or blacked out. Yo, know, is what it is, man. Holy bots? Yeah, there's a lot of bots running around, man. Gotta get those guys. Alright, should I even try to get hit by the self-destructs? I mean, I guess. Yeah, I'll, I'll just Thunderbolt. Maybe he'll crit me. If he crits me, he could still knock me out, I think. If he crits me with self-destructs, then we could still save time. Ah, eh, put me into 28! That's not quite red bar, but it's close. That means I don't have to YOLO at Black Belt. So there's that. Alright, that's Koga. Oh man, there's so much time to save there, dude. I'm still in the blue, that's crazy. Second hint, while you can only play two of the four characters, they are still a team. Two of four characters. Interesting. What are games that have four characters? Is it Donkey Kong? I don't remember playing Donkey Kong on stream with uh, Cinnamon. Um, yeah, I need to go over here. I mean, she played Donkey Kong 64 on stream by herself once. But I don't think we ever played Country 2 or 3 together. Not that I can remember. Oh wait, yeah, there's time traveling. I forgot about time travel. <laughs> it has nothing to do... Where do I go? Erica. That is Celadon City. There it is. Time travel, two out of four characters. Huh. I was thinking, uh, Day of the Tentacle, that's definitely three characters. And I didn't play that on stream. Um... Is it Super Mario... Oh, is Super Mario 3D Land? Or World? Super Mario 3D World. It's gotta be something from that. <laughs> that is, uh, that is definitely my guess. I mean, technically there's five characters, but you have to unlock the fifth one. Um... What else? Now, we already guessed, uh... Well, I didn't guess Superstar Saga. I guess Partners in Time. That's the one where it's four characters. 
It's not 3D World either? Aw, oh, jeesh. Um, oh, what's a game with four characters? Four primary characters. Um, I'm thinking, I'm thinking. I don't think it's Super Mario Bros. 2. Which I might have played? Maybe? Oh, man. Yeah, Pikmin's only three characters. Yeah, Pikmin 3? Yeah, Pikmin 3 is definitely three. You know, Pyro... Oh, <laughs> okay, I see what's going on with the first hit now. You were about to talk about really irrelevant things for a moment there? Yo, it's all good. Yo, when did I go to sleep? I didn't beat him with Ice Beam? Are you serious? What? How did he survive the Ice Beam? How did he survive the Ice Beam? What is that? Can I- do I have the full restore? I have a full restore, but... Uh, yeah, I don't have Awakening. Full restore is my only option. It's better than fainting. RIP. He survived the Ice Beam. <laughs> what world is this? Since when does a level 29 Victory Bell survive the Ice Beam from a level 41 Nitto King? You wouldn't have survived Blizzard? Well, I could have just missed Blizzard. Get your Blizzard out of here. I've never not defeated him with Ice Beam before. What happened? What did I do wrong? What did I do wrong? How did he survive the Ice Beam? Oh, I was supposed to do Mansion first. Ah, jeez. Whoops. Whoops, I did it out of order. I completely did that out of order, because I was still alive! I was alive, so I wasn't thinking to go to Pallet Town. Whoops. I'm not the right level. Did it out of order. Gosh darn it. It literally says Mansion Erica. I put it there in my splits. I named it that way, so that I wouldn't forget to do Mansion first. It's like, technically you can do them in either order. You can technically do them in either order, but you have to use the rare candies, and I didn't use them. Gosh darn it, man. Yeah, I'll, I'll use them later now. It doesn't matter at this point. Alright. I do need to use a super repel, though. The split even says so. It does! That's specifically why I did that. Because I would always know... I'm looking for HMO4, not HMO3. Yeah, I had that trouble, man. I would always do Erica first. Which you can do, there's nothing wrong with doing Erica first. You just have to revive your Nitto King with the rare candies. Which I didn't do. I specifically do Mansion first just cause, like... If I do Mansion, I don't have to make it its own split. And then I'm guaranteed to do Erica after, cause you can just dig out. It's optimal to do it this way. You lose very little time doing Erica first, but it is optimal to do Mansion first. I done goofed. I done goofed. I was like, why am I about to save so much time on this split? It doesn't make any sense. And then it all lined up. I haven't done Mansion. <laughs> no Mansion. Good job, Binks. You didn't want to get the the key to the gym? Why would I want to fight Blaine? Let's just skip Blaine, even though, you know, you literally can't fight Giovanni unless you fight all seven other gym leaders. Ah, oh, rip, man. <laughs> rip it, eat it. Yo, how's it going, Zatsu? You caught me in a moment of panic. <laughs> of extreme panic, where I'm making all the mistakes. How you doing? Uh, yeah, let's use another one of them super repels. M21? What is what is that even? <laughs> what even is that? I'm pretty sure that is an active trainer. He just has like no uh what is it? Vision? Like he can't see you. You can just walk all the way around him, but I'm pretty sure he'll fight you. I think he's a trainer. He 
You caught me at the absolute best time. <laughs> I mean, if you like seeing me in a state of panic, then yes. I did all the things wrong, Zatsu. We- I used the super repel! I'm too low level for this wheezing. Ah, uh, are you serious? I'm level 42, he's level 42? Aw, uh, get out of here, man. Get out of here. Oh yeah, I forgot I was guessing what the purdler was. Oh, and I have no room for the key to go to the gym. Um, um, <laughs> um. What's TM21? I'm gonna toss it. I don't know what it is, but I'm throwing it away. I'm sure it's fine. We've made many mistakes this day. <laughs> many mistakes! Alright, that's the Mansion Erica split. See, we're, we're not super far behind. We definitely lost time. Definitely lost time, but it could have been way worse. Come on. Inside the gym. Alright, so this the answer is yes to this question. I answer correctly, and I don't have to fight the trainer in the gym. That's the whole gimmick of this gym. Answer the Poke Trivia question, and you skip the dude. Feels good, man. Alright, so this answer is false. What is this? Yeah, there's nine certified gym badges. Incorrect. Only eight badges in the Indigo League. What are the name of the badges? Let's see, there is uh, the Boulder Badge, the Cascade Badge, the Thunder Badge, the Rainbow Badge, the... Um, it's after the Rainbow Badge. The Soul Badge? And then, um, what's after that? It's tough because I fight them in weird orders. I think the Marsh Badge, and then the Volcano Badge, and the Earth Badge. I'm pretty sure those are the names of the badges. If my <laughs> Pokemon nerdiness is at the right level. It makes you want to fight the trainers? No, it will slow me down. It's a speed run. Don't care for any of these trainers. We just walk right past them. And let's see, Super Sin Slayer, last hint, they're the world's most fearsome fighting team. The world's most fearsome fighting team? And there's four of them? And they have something to do with time. Oh man. I feel like you're making things up. I know you're not. But I just, I have no idea what that is. What do I use? I use X Accuracy in this fight. And Growlithe, we use an Earthquake. You know what it is, Pyro? Yo, Pyro knows the strats, man. Alright, I have only four Earthquakes after this Growlithe. Kinda wanna hold on to those, so I'm gonna Ice Beam this, Finita. Or no, let's Thunderbolt it. Thunderbolt will be fine. Oh, Turtles in Time! Oh, snap! Why didn't I guess that? That's like day one, dude. I forgot, because I was like, man, there's like only two games we played before, uh, like we started like really getting into the stream, and it was like, what was it? Katsumaru Damasi and Turtles in Time. Whoops. Yeah, that's, that's way old. Yo, congratulations, Doomsday. He guessed the game. The game with two out of four. Like, you can play two. It's a team of four. They're a great fighting team. They have something to do with time. Yep. It is the Turtles and Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Turtles and time. Alright, let's get out of here. Alright, uh, Sabrina? Let's go fight Sabrina. <laughs> you thought it was a movie, Doomsday? Yo, it's all good. You got the answer, man. That's- that's all that matters. Yo, I love Turtles in Time, man. Easily, 
easily my all-time favorite side-scrolling uh, beat-em-up game. And yeah, the HD version they made on like 360? Nah, no thank you. No thank you. It's not as good. Yo, I would love... Like, if I ever became, like, super rich, if I won the lottery, which is impossible because I don't play the lottery, but if I did, I would buy an arcade cabinet for Turtles in Time, dude. And I would just play that. I'd play it, like, at least once a day. I'm not even kidding. I love that game so much. You're working on coasters based around some of the Turtles in Time sprites? Yeah, that's really cool, dude. How'd you get the reference when I didn't? Cause like, I didn't see the clues, like, lining up at all. I just, I don't know. I'm mid speedrun. I'm mid speedrun. I gotta think about using earthquakes. I gotta think about how much HP I have. How this Alakazam's outspeeding me because I forgot to use the rare candies. But um, yeah, no, I'm busy. My mind is split in different ways. I can't focus. That would've been an easy answer if I thought about it. Cause the first two games I streamed were Turtles in Time and Katsumari Damasi. I think they're both still highlighted. I think you can just see my like very first streams if you look for them. I might have only highlighted Katsumari though. I Or I did both, I honestly don't remember. It's on YouTube. All right, Giovanni. I need to fly, not cut. <laughs> I don't need to cut anybody. I need to fly to Viridian City. Nope, I'm less focused than you are, so I win. And Zasu says, I got a bottle of water next to me. Might as well go get a Pepsi. Wait, no, but you got water. Water is the source of all life, Zatsu. You gotta drink the water. That's that's what you do, man. You gotta drink water. It's good for you. Would I be up for a co-op Turtles in Time at some point? Oh, definitely. I love Turtles in Time. Like, I already said, man, one of my favorite games. Uh, Ice Beam. Oh yeah, so I'm supposed to use an elixir after this fight. Supposed to use an elixir. But Giovanni is the most free gym leader in the whole world. And you need nothing to fight him, he's that free. You need no coupons. You just see him on the shelf in the grocery store and you put Giovanni directly into your shopping cart and then just leave the store because he's that free. You don't have to pay a penny. Not a penny. Well, at least I don't have to worry about YOLOing against Machoke. I have a lot more HP than I should. <laughs> is what it is. You politely decline? But the water's right next to you, Zossie. What are you doing? Why are you sabotaging yourself? If you got water right next to you, like literally right there, why get a Pepsi? You don't need that sugar. You don't need that. What's that sugar gonna do for you? It's gonna keep you up when you're trying to go to bed. It's gonna be, it's going to require you to exercise more, you know, to keep off the weight. It's no good. Versus the water doesn't have any of those negative effects. You just drink that instead. All right, so let's use the elixir. Where is it at? There it is. I have four elixirs? I thought I only had three at this point. I, that's, yep, that's right. I forgot to use the elixir in uh, Koga's gym, I forgot. I died because of that. Well, guess I'll just have an extra elixir. <laughs> You're not gonna go to bed till 3 a.m.? Yo, rip. Yo, live your life, Zotsi, live your life. Yo, know, Pyro will take the water, Soul Doomsday. I mean, when I said it's the source of all life, I meant it. That water will rejuvenate you. It has a rejuvenation effect. Don't you play a druid, Zatsu? You should want rejuvenation. And, you know, Vex says, I agree. Why drink Pepsi when you can have a Coke? No! Coke isn't the answer. 
It's water. Like, I can't even make any soda jokes, because, like, I don't drink soda. Like, nah, drink, drink, uh, Fanta, Crush something. Or no, Crush and Fanta are two different things, aren't they? Either way, either way, water. Pretty good. And it's free, that's the best price. Like, you're never gonna be like, oh man, I'm so thirsty. Let me go to the store and buy some water. I mean, maybe if you buy, like, huge stacks of bottled water, but, like, you can always just, you know, do something even better. And, uh, get a filter. Get a water filter. Just drink that instead. Alright. I don't need to use anything here. I'm leaving. Goodbye, Giovanni! I'm out of here. I don't like you. Taking this Earth Badge, I'm going to the Elite Four, where I belong. I belong there. Alright, we're gonna use a Super Repel, and we're gonna hop on a bicycle. Let's go. <laughs> Fanta? Oh yeah, yeah, I remember the Fanta commercials. Those things were kind of absurd. Funny, though. And Yuzasi says, that was a low blow, Banks, but no, I mean a rogue. Oh, okay. I could have sworn you played Druid. I mean, it's been like over a year, I think, since I saw you streaming like World of Warcraft and I hopped in. And I could have sworn I saw you healing as a Druid, but maybe I misremember. Doomsday is a, a water filter. There we go, man. Because I mean, like, obviously bottled water is cool and all, but like, that can be a bit pricey. You're constantly doing that. Alright, what do I need to do? Ice Beam. A water filter, I think, is a lot easier. Less expensive. And, you can even feel good about not polluting the environment because you're not buying as much plastic. But I think the important part, like, <laughs> that I'm stressing here is just drinking water. Bottled water equals minimal spill risk around electronics? This is true. This is true. Alright, I'm not dying to Gyarados. No siree. <laughs> One hit KO. Yo, if you play Rogue, excuse me. I'm, I'm sorry, Zatsu. Forgive me. I thought you were a druid. You play many things? Okay, fair enough. <laughs> the beer is more hydrating? Oh man, if there's something healthy for you, it's a beer, alright. That's the one. That is- Oh, I didn't one-hit Alakazam?! You didn't kill me, though. It's fine. It's all fine. Alright, we're gonna use the rare candies before we fight, uh... Lorelei. Before we fight Lorelei. There's no... Pokemon that are level 47 in Victory Road is there. If there is, I should use the rare candies now. I might as well. There's no difference between using them now or later. Despite the fact- besides the fact that if they are 47 in Victory Road, I can avoid them. You don't like Warrior? Too generic? Yo, Warrior and Mage and Rogue. Those are my classes for sure. Alright, uh, don't need to use the other repel yet. Just use these rare candies, yeah? They made Warrior t way too unimaginative. I mean, I felt like they made World of Warcraft itself too unimaginative. Like, I liked World of Warcraft. I played, uh, I played Beta. I played Vanilla. I played, uh, Burning Crusade. Wrath of the Lich King, Cataclysm, and then I quit after I hit max level in Mists of Pandaria. Like for both Cataclysm and Mists of Pandaria, I did the same thing. I rushed to max level in like a couple of days. Because, you know, I was one of those people that are like, I gotta instantly be, you know, the highest level as soon as, you know, the expansion hits. And then I would do PvP, get all the highest level PvP gear you can get. Get the arena gear, and then I'd beat everybody. 
be like one of the top players on my server, and then I'd be all done. What am I looking for? I'm looking for Super Repel. I'm just wasting five years, man. I couldn't remember. Use a Power Surf! <laughs> I was so slow there, man. I couldn't remember what item I was looking for. I was like, I know I went in this inventory for a reason. What was it? Super Repel. Rest in peace, dance dancing in PvP. Yeah, I mean, PvP changed a lot for Warriors between all of the expansions. Like, my favorite version is definitely uh, vanilla. Like, pre Burning Crusade, man. I mean, it was very unbalanced. The PvP, in my opinion, was incredibly unbalanced. But it's definitely when I had the most fun. Like, I absolutely dominated on my Warrior. I just took whatever battleground I wanted. It was my battleground. But, uh... Wrath of the Lich King, I felt, was probably the most balanced out of all the expansions I played. And it was pretty fun, I did enjoy it. But certain, uh, certain compositions were just so boring. Like, you would play, right, you'd have, like, uh... Say you were doing Arena, and you were doing, like, 2v2. And it was like Warrior Paladin versus Warrior Paladin. That fight would just go on for so long, dude. You're not killing that Paladin. But you can't kill the Warrior because the Paladin's healing him. To be fair though, Cataclysm was even worse. But yeah, in Cataclysm, Paladins had all of that, uh... That new Runic system or whatever. And yeah, then they would never go Oom. They could just cast spells. And they could instantly cast them, man. It was tough times. Tough times being a warrior. You need to work around the cooldowns just right. And once they blasted all their cooldowns, had nothing, no sort of defensive abilities, colossal smash, and just rip through them, man. You had to do it just fast enough, man. Or bam, they're right back to full HP. The fight starts all over again. And goodbye, Moltres! I hope you guys didn't blink. Because we're never seeing Moltres ever again, that's the last time. You see Moltres right then and there. If you blinked and missed Moltres and didn't wave high, it's too bad. We're not going back. Burning Crusade was the highlight for you, Pyro? You know, fair enough, man. I mean, Burning Crusade was definitely fun, but... I feel like it was just as badly balanced as, like, Vanilla WoW was. Maybe slightly better, but it felt pretty, pretty imbalanced. And obviously, I didn't feel, I didn't enjoy it as much. Not in the uh, compositions that I was running. And oh man, Paladins, uh, Paladins were ridiculous in Burning Crusade. Like, generally my problem in like every expansion as far as PvP goes is usually Paladins. Not in Vanilla. Paladins were a joke in Vanilla. Burning Crusade, they were just stupid because of how invincible they were and all the heals they could throw out. And they actually did deal damage, like Retribution wasn't a joke like it used to be. It used to just be a joke. Resilience made things better? Yeah, you had to, you had to have Resilience. I, I like that. I thought Resilience was pretty cool. I like how they separated PvE gear from PvP gear, and I think, in my opinion, I feel like uh, Wrath of Lich King did that a lot better. And I think what did it the best was Cataclysm. I think Cataclysm, out of all the separations of PvP and PvE, I think Cataclysm did it the best, but I didn't enjoy the combat in Cataclysm as much as I did in the other expansions. Like, there's so many factors. You know, you missed the Moltres, you know, rest in peace. Yo, you want to play RuneScape again, Tenth Doctor? Yo, do it, man. I mean, we are talking about MMORPGs. But yeah, no, I'll never go back to WoW. Wait, why am I trying to heal? I don't need to do that. I just need to get to this PC. Use me. We're gonna deposit a couple of Pokémon. Get rid of the letter I, which is our Squirtle. Get rid of Paris. All we need is Nidoking and Pidgey. We can beat the game with the two of them. When Nidoking King might be too low, too low level to beat the game, we will find out. But yeah, let's buy some full restores for safety. 
Hmm. <laughs> I don't think he'll let me buy that many. Oh wait, what? Yeah, just give me... give me ten. That'll... that'll do. Yo, you're playing RuneScape while watching? Yo, that's cool, man. Alright, let's fight Lorelei. Easy peasy. You know, Pyro's saying baseline healing in PvP was dropped to something like 70% or something? Yeah, yeah, reducing how strong healing was made PvP a lot better. And yeah, you were saying, uh, these days resilience affects both damage given and taken and increases healing in PvP. Yeah, they, they made resilience into a pretty crazy stat. Alright, what am I looking for? X accuracy. And you know, how many horn drills do I have? I have three. I'm gonna use one here on Dugong. Ugh, I don't have the number of horn drills I would like to have. Definitely not. I have a lot of HP, though. Alright, I think I can beat Cloyster? Maybe? Oh, that's a crit. That'll work. That'll do the trick. Lobro? Nah, his defenses are too high. I have to horn drill him. Yo, you're on a break from RuneScape, Anura? Until they release it on mobile? Then you're going full in? Yo, do it, man. And Zatsu says, I'm on WoW while listening, trying to get the uh, Molten Core set for Druid. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, I love Molten Core, man. Good memories. It's uh, been a while. Yo, you're gonna <laughs> PK all the new kids when they get mobile? Yo, man, welcome to RuneScape. <laughs> gonna learn today. Alright, there's Lorelei. Hey, we're in the blue. <laughs> we're in the blue. I'll take it. Alright, so we're gonna use an elixir. And we're gonna fight Bruno. Let's go. Yo, what was my time in the run we completed before this one? Does anybody remember? I'm pretty sure it was in the blue. But I don't remember by how much. Yeah, that was forever ago. I'll never know. Alright, uh, no, you're supposed to use an X accuracy. Everyone's gotta learn sometime, yep. Alright, Ice Beam. Yo, you complete your set? Yo, congratulations, Atsu. You know, Pyro says, my account was banned sometime while I wasn't playing, so something like 14 years ago. Yo, rip. Yo, man, people uh, take your account if they can, man. Gotta be careful with them video games. Them online ones. Yo, you'll be able to fletch and woodcut while at work? Yo, sounds good, man. And yo, Cyclone is coming in to say hi. Yo, what's up? How you doing, Cyclone? Cool to see you here, man. Alright, that's a split on that. Alright, so we're gonna go crazy against Agatha. I'm just gonna go into the fight. <laughs> I'm just gonna go right into the fight. I'm not gonna heal. I'm not gonna save. I'm not gonna do nothing, dude. We're just gonna fight Agatha. I'm just gonna fight her. I'm not scared of Haze. I'm not scared of having, like, I only have two horn drills. I don't even care. Don't even care. It's all good. It'll be fine. Ugh, Confuse Ray! That is not how I wanted to open up the fight. Okay, that's fine. We took out Gengar. But this is bad. We're going... We're going into... Like, this is literally the worst setup. Confuse Ray into Haze. If I get Haze, that's all done, man. Um, and then... Did I use the X accuracy? I think I did. Oh, hurt myself in Confusion. It drew Golbat. Okay. Come on, snap out of Confusion. Nope. Hit himself in confusion. Come on. And yo, Sean saying, what's up, man? How you doing? Um, I'm doing good, but Nino King isn't. Nino King is not doing good. Yo, snap out of confusion, guy. Confuse no more. Finally. Thank you. Thank you. Ah, oh, that was looking really bad. Oh, dude. Gengar could 
Ingar could take me out in one hit if he uses... Oh, what's it called? Not like Nightmare. It's something where it does as much damage as his level is, and he's level 60. Uh, don't hit me with that. If I can just get the one hit KO on Earthquake, it'll be fine. It'll be fine. Ah, uh, Nidoking, King, come on, man. Oh, he's gonna open up with Confuse Ray, and I will! Use Earthquake, come on! One hit KO! One hit KO! One hit KO, I need this. Yes, critical hit! Let's go, dude! Let's go! I'm gonna save all that time on Agatha. Yo, YOLO's so hard, dude. YOLO's so hard. Nightshade, yes, that is what I was thinking of. Oh, man, yes, yes! Oh, man. So scary, dude. She would! On the turn I don't save before, before I fight her, she would open up with Confuse Ray. Oh, man. Alright, what do I need? I need to heal. And use an elixir. So yeah, use the elixir first. We need a full heal, dude. We're gonna save. We have to save before him, though. Because, like, with Agatha, there was a decent chance she can just outright beat me. With Lance, there's a, like, 20-something percent chance he'll beat me. Like, just a 20% chance, nothing I can do about it. The Gyarados can critical hit me with Hydro Pump, and it's done. I can't come back from that. If he critical hits me, I die. So that is why you have to save before Lance. Have to. Unless you're crazy, man. Alright, X special, X special. Where is it at? If he doesn't crit me, I'll survive the Hydro Pump, even though it's super effective. If he gets this crit, I gotta reset. Yep, he crit me. You didn't see it go to zero. If he goes past like 40 HP, he crit me. I died. I died. <laughs> This is why we save. Lose as little time as possible, man. That's just the RNG of the run. <laughs> and yo, with the follow, thanks very much, man. Alright. Why am I using average? I am only just getting back into the game. Alright. Yeah, I used to play this game, like, almost every day. Sometimes at least, like, three times. No, like, say, like, six times a week. Are you serious? He crit me two times in a row! Oh my goodness, dude. Oh my goodness. Two critical hits. Like, I can't remember the exact odds. I thought they were, like, one out of five. Like, I'm not... 100% sure, but I thought they were like 1 out of 5. Maybe they're higher than that. He crit me twice, dude. That never happens. Like, it's, it's pretty often he won't crit you at all. Like, he normally won't crit you. It's not that often, but it can happen. It can. And it did. And it happened twice. Oh my goodness. This is not my lucky day. Yo, watch him crit me three times. Please don't do it. Thank you, finally. <laughs> Just no luck, dude. Oh man, all out of lux. If it's 1 out of 5, then 10% chance uh, twice in a row. Or, uh, wait, no, 1 out of 25? Yeah, that, that sounds like my kind of luck. That sounds like my kind of luck. You know, there's a glitch in the blue version. Have you ever tried it where you get infinite rare candies? You can do it in Pokemon Red as well, if you're talking about uh, missing, though. I've done that on uh, my original cartridge of Red before. It's uh, unfortunately a little too slow for this speedrun. That would slow me down quite a bit. I don't need to be level 100 to beat everybody. I just need Gyarados to not crit me! I just need him not to crit me. Stop critting me, don't beat me up. Alright. Technically still in the blue. Technically still in the blue, man. Alright, alright, let's just beat him up, man. 
Speed him up. Isn't this glitchless? Yeah, this is also a glitchless speedrun. To be fair. I don't do any glitch uh, glitches in this glitchless speedrun. But it's slow anyways. <laughs> so that's the second reason not to do it. If you're gonna do glitches, you can beat the game without even fighting any of the uh, Elite Four, I'm pretty sure. No, you definitely can. Alright, X accuracy, no sky attack. Of course he would sky attack! Of course he would. Of course he would. Trying to go fast, huh? Hold on, we're gonna have to slow you down there, Noodle King. I got this sky attack, you gotta respect me. Respect my- Oh gosh darn it. Idiot, please. Oh my goodness, I'm so glad he didn't crit me. And then we'll just X. Yeah, that was the X accuracy and the X speed. Don't- No, 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 I'm faster than him. Don't crit me. Yeah, we're all good. All good. Um, And then what? Do we Ice Beam? No, you're supposed to Horn Drill him. I forgot. Don't Whirlwind? That's nothing. Alright, that's fine. I have five Horn Drills. We'll just use that on everybody else. Because I knew I only had five, so that's why I was thinking do something else on Pidgeot. No, I should have Earthquaked uh, Arcanine. That was the correct answer. But it's fine. I'm faster than everybody else. Should be. And that'll allow me, with my 100% accurate, non-Gen 1 missable horn drill, I should be able to beat everybody, unless I've miscalculated, and I'm not faster, and I'm slower, then I will lose. <laughs> but, I think we're fine. I think we're fine. Maybe. Maybe, perhaps. Yo, that Pidgeot, man. Pidgeot didn't care about my life. Like, are you trying to go fast? How do you feel about turn one sky attack when you're not at max HP? The answer is I feel absolutely awful. I feel like I can lose on that turn. I mean, I could. Like, if it just crit me, I would. that would have been it right there. That would have been GG, man. That'd be the run. I mean, technically I saved on launch, so I could just uh, redo that. But, oh, the time loss is so massive. Alright, so we don't hit time yet. This is the final person that we defeat. However, for this game, you hit time after you index your party into the Hall of Fame. And Oak will tell you how impressive your Pokedex is and what you need to do to possibly improve that perfect Pokedex. And then the screen will flash white and that's uh, the end of the game. There's no more inputs that I will be registering. But until then, I'm mashing A and B to skip through text as fast as possible. Mashing A is not as fast as mashing A and B, so that is why I do that. And yeah, now we're gonna go into the red because because uh, of that sky attack. That sky attack really slowed me down. Also the two ice beams. I should have horn drilled and then used uh, Earthquake on Arcanine. And I wouldn't have lost as much time. I probably still would have gone into the red. Because I died to Gyarados. Wait, no, no, no. No, no, no. I was even after launch, so yeah. Now, it's mostly those ice beams and sky attack. All they had to do was not sky attack, man. Alright, so scene 85, own 6, Pokedex rating. You still have lots to do. Look for Pokemon in grassy areas. And that's it. 22250. <laughs> not as fast as the last run. I think? Yeah, no, because the last run lowered my average. So, yeah, we're definitely slower than what we were last run. But, but, a lot of learning. You know, we've learned many things, experienced what it means to be a Pokemon master. Yo, it's not all bad, man. It's not all bad. Ah, oh, jeesh. Yo, we did it. It was, it was looking a little scary there, man. I thought that Pidgeot wanted to end my run. I was a little worried I was going to be slower than Arcanine or Alakazam. And if I was slower than either one of them, I would have missed the Horn Drill. And I wouldn't have been able to Horn Drill Venusaur. And I, he would body me. He would hard body me. But nah, it's all good. Am I going to do another run? Nah, um, I'm done with doing speedruns for today. I'm going to switch over to a game I've been playing casually. Uh, Golden Sun 2. I'm like near the end of that game, but uh, give me one second, I'm gonna grab some more water, and then I'll be right back. But yo, thanks to everyone who, you know, just likes to see the Pokemons. 
Hopefully I will catch you guys next week. I'll probably do some more runs then. But uh, I'm mostly going to be playing uh, some casual RPGs for most of the week. But yeah, I'll be right back. Alright, so I have returned. So what we're